Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for joining us for our new Edward J. Lewis II Lawyers in the Classroom program series. For those of you who aren't aware, the Chicago Bar Association's Edward J. Lewis II Lawyers in the Classroom program has existed for over 30 years. The program, which was originally a part of Constitutional Rights Foundation Chicago, involves me, Tiffany Watson, director of the program and former teacher and administrator, placing attorneys in second through eighth grade social studies, social sciences, and even literature classrooms to teach students about the US constitution, their constitutional rights, our legal system, and their rights and responsibilities under the law. Now, under the auspices of the Chicago Bar Association's 501c3, since 2019, the Lawyers in the Classroom program has continued to flourish Attorney volunteers are partnered with teachers to provide students with grade level lessons and knowledge based on real life experiences, help them develop critical thinking skills and offer young people an opportunity to interact with a variety of positive adult role models. The purpose of this series is for you to learn more about our participants in the Lawyers in the Classroom program, i.e. our attorney volunteers and teacher partners, while also learning about what they've experienced during our Lawyers in the Classroom visits. Today, today, we are speaking with one of our attorney volunteers, Crystal Malone. Crystal um, was a presidential management fellow um, appointed to the Department of Housing and Urban Development under the Obama administration. And she currently serves as assistant state's attorney um, with the Cook County State's Attorney's Office in Markham. And she's a new attorney volunteer. And so we're just all happy to have her here. Welcome, Crystal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So let's start. Why do you why did you decide to become part of the Lawyers in the Classroom program? So I had heard about the Lawyers in the Classroom program, but I never really knew what um, the volunteers did. Um, so when this opportunity uh, came about, I jumped on it and was glad to participate. Um, just to give, you know, at least interact with young people and give them some exposure to lawyers and especially in um, the area, the students to really interact with lawyers who look like them. Excellent. And what do you see are the benefits of your visits to the classrooms for both yourself and the students? So with me, um, I just, I really enjoy working with students like outside of uh, my day-to-day -day job. It it's, keeps you fresh and also um, helps to interact with the community that you are even serving while I'm working in the state's attorney's office. Um, but it also gives students the opportunity to have access, like I said, to um, attorneys that look like them and also assure them that they could one day be an attorney if they so choose. Um, when I was young, um, I was able to interact or see attorneys. I didn't have any attorneys in my immediate family, um, but in my community, I was able to interact and see, you know, people who looked like me who were attorneys. And um, later on, I want to, I think maybe in the third grade or fourth grade, I interacted with um, a distant cousin who happened to be an attorney. Um, and, you know, she told me what she did and uh, went back to her law firm and sent me like a law firm swag gift. I think it was like a lunch pail and a list of all the attorneys who worked there. Um, and that really had an impression on me, um, whereas I went to school and um, I think we did like a little mock trial in one of my classes because the teacher saw that I had taken an interest um, in, you know, the profession um, and wanted to give me an experience. Well, how richer would that experience have been if they had had a program like Lawyers in the Classroom who could have come in and done something like what we did, you know? Um, so it was just really um, fulfilling for me to be able to participate. Um, and I hope that the students also got their imagination sparked in terms of thinking of, do I want to be a lawyer when I grow up? And if so, you know, what, what would it be like? You know, so I hope it sparked their imagination. That is amazing. That's an incredible story. So we want our kids who we visit in classrooms to actually have those experiences and ultimately be you. And they're able to share uh, that information with someone else. 
Um, so that's a phenomenal story. Um, thinking about that and your experiences in the classroom, can you think of a highlight maybe um, of a time when you visited the classroom and something great happened or, you know, in general, it's, it's a great experience, but anything that, you know, sticks out in your mind? So I think in our very last lesson, we had kind of a little uh, demonstration of an argument where we had, you know, two of the students who were um, attorneys, we selected one of the students to be the judge and, you know, they were kind of arguing two different positions. And so one of the students who was selected to be the attorney, she was uh, kind of very shy. Um, and, you know, wasn't really sure what she wanted to say or what she wanted to argue. Um, but then the rest of the students also kind of chimed in to help her out with arguments and um, to, you know, give her things that she could argue or say with regard to her position. Um, the other student who was the other attorney was much more confident, um, you know, so he was able to, you know, talk a long time about <laughs> his position. So you have a balance of that, but just the um, investment of the students really, you know, by that third lesson, um, kind of taking ownership of the experience and um, really feeling confident in being able to argue both sides of an argument and, and feeling confident in that skill. Um, and I think, you know, that was invaluable to them, you know, if they ever choose to look into pro the profession, but just in life as well, um, helps to build critical analysis skills um, that they will utilize moving forward. Excellent. Yeah, that's, that's phenomenal. So, so important. You've touched on so many important things that uh, this program does for young people. And um, I just really appreciate your partnership. I appreciate you being a diligent um, volunteer and and understanding your um, kind of your role and your purpose um, in this work. So thank you again, Crystal, for your time. And I appreciate everything that you, you're doing and will continue to do with the program. And thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.